about the Supreme Court? Very good, thank you. Donald Trump is cheering the Supreme Court's decision to temporarily reinstate part of his travel ban, calling it a clear victory for our national security. The nine justices unanimously agreed to review lower court rulings that said the ban likely violates the Constitution by blocking refugees and nationals from six majority Muslim countries. In a formal statement, President Trump said, today's ruling allows me to use an important tool for protecting our nation's homeland and he dispatched his press secretary to handle questions off camera. Again, I think it's a positive step forward. As I mentioned at the outset, the Department of Justice in particular is reviewing this um, in terms of both its implement implementation and its impact. Um, so I don't want to get too far ahead of, of all of these brilliant legal minds. After months of questioning Russian interference in the U.S. election, Trump is now appearing to admit Russia may have played a role in election meddling last year. But he's blaming former President Barack Obama for not taking more action to deter it. He had the information. Why didn't he do something about it? Today, Trump tweeting, the reason that President Obama did nothing about Russia after being notified by the CIA of meddling is that he expected Clinton would win and did not want to, quote, rock the boat. He didn't, quote, choke. He colluded or obstructed, and it did the Dems and crooked Hillary no good. And Sean Spicer piled on. They've been very clear. They've been playing this card about uh, blaming Trump and Russia. Uh, and yet, at the same time, they were the ones who, according to this report, knew about it and didn't take any action. A former Obama White House official said the previous administration issued a robust response, including shutting down two Russian compounds, and added, the administration's attacks on President Obama's response to Russia cyber meddling is a transparent effort to distract from the terrible impact of their ACA repeal. Total disgrace. Back on his domestic agenda, Trump is admitting that reaching consensus on the health care bill is sure to be a challenge as the Senate struggles to tally the votes to repeal and replace Obamacare. Health care is a very, very tough thing to get, but I think we're going to get it. We don't have too much of a choice because the alternative is the dead carcass. Of Obamacare. Trump even admitting he described the GOP health care bill that passed the House as mean, saying he hopes to see a more generous version pass the Senate. Mean, that was my term, because I want to see, I want to see, and I speak from the heart. That's what I want to see. I want to see a bill with heart. Health care is a very complicated subject from the standpoint that you move it this way and this group doesn't like it. You move it a little bit over here, you have a very narrow path. And honestly, nobody can be totally happy.